worry about when you're really, really headed to take a shit. Because if you and Paul Gray and the fucking. Oh, on the bus? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You want to hear the bus shit story? Yes, yeah. The fact that you know it. <laughs> Why would I tell it again? I mean, you've heard it. It's my friend's story, dude. Okay. All right. It, it's okay. I'm about to tell you a disgusting story. <laughs> And it's honestly, it's one of my favorites, and it involves Paul, so... Yeah. Um, long time ago, 2001, so we're talking 14 years ago... Iowa! I would... Yes, it was... Into, can I tell the story, fuckers? <laughs> Don't make me fucking throw you out here. Right? So, 2001, the Iowa cycle. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. <laughs> we were in Europe, and I don't know if anybody knows anything about tour buses. You can't shit, no. and you can't put paper in them. Nope. Everything else is good. You can put, 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 uh, just leaves pee, basically. You can pee on a bus. Everything else goes into that tank, and then the smell never fucking goes away. Yeah. So, you can't shit on the bus. And I proved that the first day of fucking touring in 1999 <laughs> by breaking that rule. <laughs> and they never let me fucking forget yeah! it. So, 2001, we are in Europe, we're touring. Paul and I are fucking smashed, fucked up. We had two buses at the time. Everybody else is asleep. He and I are up, we're hanging out, drinking a little whiskey, just having a good fucking time. Yeah. And uh, all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, I start getting a <laughs> Paul's like, what's the matter, dude? I don't know, dude. Maybe the fucking chili dogs we have. Right? Oh. Fucking. <laughs> you gotta take a shit, do <laughs> No, no, I'll be alright, I'll be alright, I'll be alright. I gotta take a shit. So what are you gonna do? And Paul, one of the best things and worst things about him, he just loved discomfort in other people, especially in moments like that. So he's just fucking. <laughs> now, I wasn't gonna. Good laugh, back there. I wasn't gonna destroy the bus. However, over the years, we have found out a way of getting around that. Which is the hot bag. It's exactly what you think it is. It's bad. But it's only bad for a second until you get it the fuck out. Right? Because we were in the middle of nowhere. There was no stopping in a fucking bathroom. This is Europe, okay? Basically, you might as well be in the fucking Congo at that point. After a certain time, people go to bed. They're like, I'm not selling you shit after 1 a.m., okay? Fuck you, you gotta take a shit, go in the woods. What do you think you are, glamping? So, I'm like, dude, I'm gonna have to fucking hot bag one, man. Paul's so stoked. Yeah? I don't want to. Maybe I can hold on. I can't hold on. He's like, all right, well, we gotta find a bag. And I'm like, why are you so fucking happy? Because like, it's awesome. So we're looking around this fucking European fucking bus, and all we can find is a giant, and I mean fucking giant, industrial-sized garbage bag. There's no goddamn way this thing is fitting in the toilet, because basically you have to fucking line it like a trash can. It's the only way this is effective. You fucking stick it down in it, and then put the seat down. Oh, come on. I'm not, I'm not trying to sell this as a home game here. Don't fucking, I'm drunk as shit, I'm like, oh god, this is gonna fucking suck. <laughs> and it is just pouring out of the sides, like you put too much cheese on a grilled cheese sandwich. It's just, it's not poop yet! It's just the bag so far. We haven't got there! 
to Paul being my friend. He's like, I'll watch the door, dude. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So I you promise? Yeah, it's going to be great. No lock. until you realize that you've pressed it so many times that you run out of fucking air, basically, to work it, and then it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> so, we fully, hopefully, fully fucking loaded, we're standing there, and we're screaming down the fucking freeway. And I'm like, well, what if I just fucking open the door, throw the bag down, <laughs> shut that fucker as quickly as possible. <laughs> this is all fucking whiskey talk, basically. Yeah. Paul's like, that's genius. It's <laughs> good, right? Something go wrong. He's got the button. I've got my bag of dick. <laughs> ready? Now, mind you, we are part of a fucking caravan. Yeah. <laughs> it's not exactly fucking top of the list in my brain at that moment. It doesn't matter. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> We're getting rid of this son of a bitch. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Okay. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> go back. Drink. Sun comes up. We finally stumble back to our bunks. I wake up like the living dead. I had fucking shoulder length black hair at the time. I was 60 pounds heavier than I am now. And I had on the biggest baggiest shorts you've ever seen in your life. I was just as pale, a little else. So I come off the bus looking like a stunt double for fucking Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> And I work, I wake up the worst. My face is so swollen, my lips look like pillows. It's <laughs> just fucking brutal. We're parked. Right next door is the crew bus. <laughs> the driver is a gigantic Scottish man named Malcolm. Wonderful friend of mine. He's got the hose out. More than welcome. Uh, you know that you do all right? <laughs> Doing. Well, that's the most fucked up thing. <laughs> Everyone, 
driving down the freeway last night. All of a sudden, quick as you can, the door in your bus opened up. That's the story of the shit bus. <laughs> 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 